recipe is very special. At the end of the year, I want to share delicious and also authentic and traditional and luxurious kind of delicious recipe, dessert. It's called gokkam danji. Gokkam is dried persimmon. Danji is a kind of small jar. So gokkam, dried persimmon inside. We consider this gokkam is a kind of jar, small jar. Fill it up with delicious stuff. First, I start with boiled chestnut, cooked chestnut. How I cook? Just you can check out my previous video, very short video, and how to cook chestnut, how I enjoy chestnut. For this recipe, today's recipe is I need 12 cooked chestnuts. So just uh, I did already 10 chestnuts. I will show you how I cut this. The pointed part, put your knife here and cut it in half. And here too. These are all 12 chestnuts. I'm going to use mortar and pestle. So take it out of this all flesh. When chestnuts are warm right after cooking, much better. Better to handle this because all tender and soft. I need one cup chestnut crumbs. Then pound. And then go through this my strainer. And this is my coarse strainer. Push this with your spoon so that all these delicious crumbs are going through this. You wanna see? Look at that. The bottom. Only just left over some kind of brownish chestnut skins left. One cup chestnut crumb. Now I'm boiling water here and because I need to prepare these nuts. One cup walnuts. Boiling water. Walnut is uh, actually lots of dust between this really wrinkly stuff. Wash this way and also cook around one minute. Let's wash this. microwavable for three minutes. I microwave this but you guys can use also you know pan. On the pan kind of stir over medium heat and the slowly slowly just around five minutes until all water is gone and crispy. Nice. We need to this coat with sweet stuff. Rice syrup. This is my half cup rice syrup. All bubbles are full. This pan. Then add this walnuts. So sometimes it is uh, too high and then you can just lift your pan like this because I don't want to burn. Nice. Mm. 
my parchment paper. Look at this. So this one, the a lot of some leftover. Pour some water and boil. And you can add some ginger, ginger juice here to so make tea, ginger tea. I'm going to let it cool down. And then, now next one, this is a pine nuts, a quarter cup pine nuts I prepared. Jujube, eight jujube. And shred this jujube. So like this, and turn around. The seeds. I'm going to mince this. Cinnamon powder, around half a teaspoon. And salt, two pinches. You can eat this like this, your snack. Still hot. Pound this the mortar and pestle. When I chew this gokam danji, I love this way like a candy. A little sticky and crunchy. I made with the rice syrup, didn't use sugar. So it's kind of, you know, you see? Crunchy and less sweet. Less sweet than adding sugar. I love this texture. Very nutty. Then, this is a yuja tea. You can buy this Korean grocery store. So very sweet, but aromatic. Let's see. I may need more. Let's see. And mix. We add all kinds of delicious stuff here. So I'm going to add just a little more, but not too much. If this is too wet, it will not easy to shape. I'm going to use my hand like this. Too sticky, so I'm wearing my gloves. To make this gokkam danji, and you gotta find really good quality gokkam. Sometimes gokkam is too dried, it's not easy to make this shape. Or sometimes gokkam is too like a flimsy, in that case, just you can dry a little bit at home. You can find two kinds of gokkam. It looks like a flat, and this one is just naturally dried, like one, basically one persimmon. And take it out. Just, just gently. Okay, we took off this. We gotta make this just a real shape. Press down like this, turning around. And now the top part is going up. For some reason, they kind of, when they dry this one, just the top part of this, they didn't cut off. Sometimes you find that smooth gokkam all cut off. There is a hole, yeah? Here, we got rid of this, you know, this the stem. And then use your fingers and just push this. And kind of you make it this circle. And then find if it has some 
feel that some uh, seed, but this one doesn't have a seed. So make a danji. Danji means a small jar. We gotta fill it up. Okay, now I can put it this one here. I will choose this one. This is a, just like a persimmon. So you find this kind of easy, easier than this. Remove the stems. Just find some seed if they have. I just made this large one to show you how I do. I already made this before. Otherwise, it takes a long time, right? And then I'm going to, how I put this inside, just come here to see. It depends on the size of your persimmon. So, two scoops, three scoops. This danji is filled with delicious stuff. Stuffed persimmon. Look at that. I want to show you how I enjoy this. This is my gokkam danji. is just made this way. The top part is kind of bothering me. Like a little bit left over, you know, some skin. I'm going to cut off with my sharp knife and also boiling water to for to make some nice tea. And then eating with tea and nice tea table with gokkam danji. Okay. It says awake tea. I bought this when I visited Philadelphia, some market, and very nice. All mixture of the good herbs. So this is uh, like a. So always uh, to make it look very luxurious and beautiful, we use this kind of edible gold flakes, it says. Without this, uh, still same taste, but to make it like uh, to impress your guests, so use this gold leaf. I'm going to add this on top. So top part is uh, all sticky a little bit because I cut off. Freeze. Freeze maybe one or two hours. Later, you can slice it more easily. So I'm going to show you how I serve. Look at that, like this. So you can cut off one more time, like this. Look at this color, so pretty color. Here you go. Gokkam danji, so pretty. Sweet and nutty with the yuja aroma and crunchy walnuts. So this mixture is so amazing, nice. Rice cake. Chewy rice cake, always my favorite. One more time, kokam danji. I can't help. <laughs> Today, I showed you how to make a Korean traditional dessert, kokam danji, stuffed persimmon. I hope that you make this and all with the family members at the end of this year, just celebrate Korean way and with tea, hot tea. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.